Hi, in this video we will discuss about the basics of bonds. So to discuss bonds, let me take an example of a company which has around 100 million dollars in assets. So I have a company that has that has 100 million dollars in assets. So I have assets of 100 million dollars and the equivalent amount of this asset is in the form of equity so they do not have so they don't have any debt part associated so they have an equivalent amount of equity also this equity has come in the form of say 10 million shares so which implies that every share is equivalent to ten dollar per share now suppose this company ABC wants to invest in a new factory and suppose they want to invest in a new factory here and the capex required for the factory is say 10 million dollars so this factory would come in the form of assets so here the balance sheet will increase by 10 dollars 10 million dollars sorry so this is in form of factory now to fund this 10 million dollar of capex they need this 10 million dollars right so this can either come in the form of equity which means that they have to issue another 1 million shares at 10 dollars per share so this would be equivalent to million dollars of funding so this is one way another way is that instead of giving any stake of the company to new investors they want to raise this money in the form of debt so here instead of raising money in the form of equity they are raising this 10 million dollars in the form of debt and moreover they are not raising this debt from a particular bank but they are raising this debt from market so a lot of people here so they are not raising this debt from one bank but from a group of people which I will call as market so this 10 million dollars this 10 million dollars they will divide into several parts so instead of dividing it into say two or three investors they have divided this 10 million dollars into say 100,000 investors so for each investor they are asking around around 100 dollars so each investor if gives hundred dollars to the company and there are hundred thousand investors they would be able to raise ten million dollars so this form is of raising debt is nothing but a bond every person here has invested in the bond of the company ABC so this is the basic methodology in which companies raise debt or issue bonds. So let us discuss this in detail. So taking forward that example, we are saying that here ABC company, they will invest the bond. So they will invest here the company ABC has issued the bonds so ABC bond company is the issuer 
and there are these group of people who have invested in this bond so these people are nothing but the investors right so these are the issuers and these people are the investors also I can say that the issuer is nothing but a borrower and these people who are investors are nothing but the lenders so ABC company has taken the money and they have given this bond certificate so what does this bond certificate says this bond certificate says that these people these investors these investors are entitled to get their money back after p years so let us say after two years okay so whatever their money is so say money of hundred dollars so they will get their hundred dollars after two years also they will get an intermediate payment of cash flows so which is which will come in the form of interest payments also here they will get some interest payments now how this interest will get calculated this interest would come in the form of some percentage of this hundred dollars so some percentage of this hundred dollars now this hundred dollars please know that this hundred dollar is the amount which the investors will get after two years so percentage of hundred dollars that the investors will get after two years so this amount that the investor gets after two years is called as the face value of the bond so this is the face value of, of the bond so this means that interest would be some percentage of the face value or we also call this face value as the par value now what is this percentage now this percentage is also called as coupon rate so the interest would be the coupon rate into the par value or the face value so here they will get an intermediate payment of interest which is coupon rate into the par value and at the maturity after two years they will get the interest payment as well as the face value of the bond so now let us assume that the certificate that ABC company has invested that says that the face value of the bond is $100 and the coupon rate is 10% and the maturity of the bond is 2 years and the coupon payments are annual so coupon payments would be annual this means that if the bond was traded at t equal to zero years after one year the investors are entitled to get 10 percent of face value which becomes 10 percent of hundred dollars equal to ten dollars and at the maturity that is at t equal to two years the investors are entitled to get the face value plus the interest payment so which are 100 plus 10 dollars so investors in effect will get an intermediate payment of 10 dollars and 
the payment at maturity of one ten dollars all right so these are the cash flows that the investors are going to get now here the point to note is that here so here we need to note these few terminologies that what is the face value what is the coupon what is the maturity so the face value is the amount that the investor is entitled to get at the maturity the coupon is the the percentage of the face value that the investor is entitled to get in the intermediate years the maturity is till the bond matures and the maturity is the number of years after the issuance when the investor is entitled to get the face value of the bond so this was the basic terminology associated with the bond so suppose uh, some company xyz invests in the bonds of in bonds of company abc so abc here is the issuer and xyz here is the investor or the lender and here this is the borrower so if the the specification of abc bond is that the face value is thousand dollars the coupon is five percent semi-annual and the maturity is say three years so if I have to draw the cash flow to the company XYZ, so first of all, I'll make a timeline and here I will say T equal to six months because the coupon payments are semi-annual, then T equal to one year, T equal to 1.5 years, then two years, then 2.5 years and the maturity date is after three years so at t equal to six months the company a xyz is entitled for only the coupon payments so five percent now this five percent is an annualized number so that is important to note here so whenever a specification of interest rate is given to you that is always analyzed so this is an analyzed number but the payments are semi-annual so here the interest would be the interest payment would be 5% which is analyzed number upon 2 into the face value which is 1000 so it becomes 2.5% of 1000 dollars which is $25 similarly here the payment would be $25 $25 $25 $25 here the interest payment would be $25 but also you are entitled to get the the face value of the bond so face value is $1000 so here the important thing to note is that the interest rate would always be in the analyzed form so from here from this particular term you need to identify whether the interest would be semi-annual or quarterly or monthly or so on okay so if the coupon is said to be semi-annual that means that the interest payment would be semi-annual okay but the interest here that five percent or ten percent would always be in the analyzed form all right I hope you have understood these basic terms. In the next session, we'll talk about a few more terms associated with the bonds. Thanks for listening and stay tuned.